No, it's a good introduction. We have a heartbreaker <laughs> in the building, the one, the only, the beautiful, dazzling uh, Monique Samuels joining us as our guest Thank co-host. You. I've enjoyed you so far. Always, you too. Your yeah. energy is always amazing. Oh, yes. thank you. You're you so know, beautiful outside and in. Uh, I've enjoyed you, of course, on Good Day DC, Fox 5 DC. But what are you thinking about, you know, Lion Lunch Hour so far? Oh, I love it. I like to eat. <laughs> so, listen, anytime y'all have a plate, you already know I'm going to be there. Yeah, we've been checking each other's teeth. Are you right, good? Right, right. Are we good? I, oh, I really wanted to, like, go in, but I'm like, all right, right. We're, we're still doing the show, so let me try to be cute and eat, because normally my eating ain't oh, so gosh. cute. Yesterday, you should have saw us eating a barbecue chicken. Chef Ooh. Tobias on there. That We had a time. I'll say that much. It was good. Oh, that's but I awesome. want to get caught up with you and everything that you have going on. You yes. already wrapped the first season of Love and Marriage DC. Yes. So tell us about your morning show, this event you have coming up this week. Oh, my goodness. The Good Morning Show on WPGC 95.5. That is, I'm on air every day, 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. I'm up early, and I completely love it. My mm -hmm. crew, Todd B., Jason Weems, D. Carter, Guy Lambert, we just have such a good time on and off air. It's like we're just having our own conversation, and the people that are listening are just listening. You know, it's really incredible. So we enjoy doing it every morning for the DNA of the DMV. You know, Guy Lambert, he's a party. Yes, he <laughs> I love is. him. He's here as a contributor as well. What has been the funniest moment that has happened on or off air uh, that you didn't anticipate? Oh, wait, on, on the show? On the show. On the Good Morning Show? Uh -huh. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, y'all, I'm, I'm starting to post little teasers and snippets onto social media because it, like, we just all gel. We're always on the same page, yeah. and we're always just laughing. Everything turns into a joke. Mm. Like, and you can't be sensitive in that studio. We will go on each and every one of everybody yep. in the studio. And it is, it's just an awesome time. I see um, another reality TV show possibly. It could be. It could be. It could, it could be. be. Yes. Yeah. I, we really need to seriously consider doing, like, the Good Morning Show after dark. Mm. And, and just, like, being able to talk about what we talk about off air. <laughs> 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 oh, my goodness. Listen, we have to try to keep it to a minimum because right. we realize that the parents are taking the children to school and the babies are in the car. And they're real <laughs> smart these days. Kids oh, know way yes. more <laughs> at 12 than I knew at 30. So, absolutely, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, speaking of reality TV, I love seeing you love in Marriage DC to Thanks. the point where I know it was the first season. Will we get a second season? Please yeah. say yes. We may. We may. I yeah. don't know just yet. Or I can't Sweet say just yet. You we'll can't say. Like oh, I can't say just yet. <laughs> I can't okay, say. Okay, you gave me a little fun, so I can read between the lines. Um, but it was also another way for you to showcase your life, your family, yes. after Real Housewives of Potomac. So do you think it did what it needed to do for you? I feel like, like I said before, I wish we had more episodes mm. because there was so much more Myself and the other couples, the Tylers and the Silvas, had so much depth. We, we filmed so much, and to put all of that into 10 episodes was just, like, impossible. So I know that if there is a season two, we'll really dive deep into that and really show y'all even more. So I feel like that was just a little taste just a little tip of the iceberg, but there's so much more. And especially when it comes to me, like there's so many layers to me, you have no idea. <laughs> I thought about you the other day, this is even before, you know, we booked you uh, for the show. Whenever these reunion shows come up with Real Housewives, any franchise, you see these articles of best moments from past years, and yeah. people are still talking about the binder. So binder. Does, does that get to you? I, mean, I love you, it. You no, love it. I love it because what's funny about the binder is, I didn't think it was a big deal. That's something I actually do. If you go to my house and look in my uh, office, I have binders for everything. So when people kept saying, how did you do this binder? What made you do a binder? Because that's what I do. I've always used a binder. I've always used the tabs. I'm old school with it. I like having hard copies of things. And I just simply organized it and printed it out and said, And when we say binder, we're talking about receipts. Yes. Uh, proof of things that have happened. And you know, you famously pulled out your binder <laughs> on a, a season finale there. Uh, tell us about this event yes. that you have, though, later this week. I want the people to know about Yes, yeah, so my newest venture, Mila Eve Essentials, I launched it in 2021. Mm. And it's all about essential oils and other self-care products that just help you to, you know, change up your medicine cabinet a little bit and add some herbal remedies into it, which are essential oils. So a lot of people kept asking me to start my own company because they were like, we want to make sure that they're real and pure. Mila Eve Essentials oils are 100% pure, chemical free. We've partnered up with Kendra, who owns Bikram Yoga Works in Northeast DC. She has two other locations, one in Riverdale and one in Mount Vernon. And she is doing a series all weekend long on uh, sound bathing, which is when you meditate oh, yes, and you I have the sound that. bowls. Uh -huh. So it's she relaxing. has. Yes, it is incredible. So we'll actually be popping up 
at her shop in Northeast DC in South, in Ivy City. Um, I will be there in person with Meal Eve Essentials for people to smell the aromas mm. and, and ask questions and try to start their essential oil journeys. And she's going to be doing it all weekend long. So okay. Friday at, I believe it starts at 8 o'clock, I will be at the Ivy City location, Bikram Yoga Works okay. in Northeast DC in Ivy I'll City. I'll add that to my binder. People yes. are laughing about binders. That's why she can do all this stuff because she's binders. <laughs> yeah, be I'm organized. telling you, be organized. <laughs>